Hello, and welcome to the first installment of my video cooking lessons at thefatveganchef.com. I want to share with you some vegan recipes and techniques that will be easily accessible to every cook. I'm going to use ingredients that are readily available either in a regular grocery store, health food store, or online. Every recipe I make can be found at thefatveganchef.com and I've included links to some of the ingredients that you can buy online in case you can't find it locally. Today's episode is kind of a dry run for me and I thought I would keep it simple. Last year I traveled to Costa Blanca, Spain where for holiday and I ate breakfast a few times at this little tapas bar in Merida called Bar Costa Blanca and ate tostada con tomate. It is a really popular breakfast item for the Spaniards and I fell in love with this. I've been making it almost every day for breakfast and since I've been back to the States and I wanted to share it with you today. It is very easy to make because it only has four ingredients. Since this breakfast or snack so, so, has so few ingredients, I highly suggest you buy the best ingredients you can though because you will be able to taste everything. The tools you will need to create this dish are a nice thick pan like a cast iron skillet and another pan or something that has some weight like a wok. You will also need a medium sized grater and a bowl large enough to fit the grater in. You are also going to need to get some of the moisture out of the rolling tomatoes. You will need something like a fine mesh strainer and also a spoon, a fork and a bread knife. And you will also need a plate of course to serve the food on. And now for the ingredients, you'll need some bread. Traditionally, it is made with a demi baguette, which is a sandwich sized baguette. I've also used bolio or ciabatta. And I like to use whole or multigrain variations, and just, that's just for the nutrition. But traditionally, it's served on white bread. You also need a good, fresh, organic, and washed Roma tomato, and some good, high quality, first cold pressed, extra virgin Spanish olive oil. Please do not use Italian olive oils or grocery store oils for this. Uh, look in your town to see if there is a place that sells specialty olive oils and if not there is a link at the website where you can buy some high quality Spanish olive oil. The, the final ingredient that you'll need is some Mediterranean sea salt and um, this uh, you want to use uh, the sea salt and not table salt because you want um, the flavor of the sea to be a part of your dish. Okay, so now that we have our ingredients put together, let us start cooking this, shall we? I'm going to start by preheating my pan. I've found that the best temperature to cook with is medium to medium high and your stove may vary depending upon the age and the pan that you're using. You may have to adjust a little bit, um, first two or three times uh, you might burn the bread, but uh, that's normal. Um, you may know your stove better. Uh, and while the pan's heating up, you want to take the Roma tomato and you want to grate it on the grater and, catch, and let the uh, bowl catch the meat of the pan. And, uh, or catch the meat of the tomato, excuse me. And while the tomato is grating, most of the skin should remain untapped and you want to grate as little of the skin as possible and the remainder of the skin you can add to the compost heap. And I like to push against the skin as I'm grating it so that way I can get all the way down to the skin. And then, like I said, you can put the, take the skin and put it in your compost heap. And then go ahead and try to get as much of the um, flesh off the grater. Don't want to waste any of this tomato. Uh, looks 
good. And then what you want to do is add a pinch of uh, the sea salt to your tomato. And what this will do is help flavor your tomato. And also it's going to draw out some of the moisture out of the, t out of the meat itself. And that way it kind of helps um, get your tomato as dry as possible. And you want to mix that up just a little bit. Get it all incorporated. And then once that's incorporated, what you want to do is take the meat and um, add that to your fine mesh strainer. I'm going to do this over the sink so we don't make a mess here. And once that uh, meat is in the strainer, what you want to do is uh, tap this against your bowl. much liquid as you can out of it. There we go, that looks good. So you're left with a good um, just meat and very little liquid in there. And then what you want to do is set this aside and then take your bread and you want to slice this bread lengthwise. Try to get it as even as possible so that way you've got it even amount of bread on either side. And then once you've got your bread sliced, what you're going to do is you're going to toast this um, on the pan. All right, now it's time to toast the bread. And I like to toast mine dry. I find it comes out a lot better like this. I'll take my bread, put it on top of my cast iron skillet, and put the other thing, like my wok, on top of the bread. And this will allow it to toast evenly across the bread. And this is going to take a couple minutes for it to toast. And you want to check it every minute or so and make sure it's uh, toasting fine. We'll let it sit here and toast for a minute. Alright, let's check to see if it's done here. And it's getting there. It's almost done. This one is. So what I'll do is I'll swap these out and put the pan back on. And we'll give it another minute. And let's go ahead and check it. Oh yeah, that looks good. And that side looks good. So that's toasted. See, it didn't take very long at all. So I'll go ahead and shut off my stove. And let's go ahead and assemble, shall we? Once you have your bread um, on your plate, it's time to assemble this. First thing you want to do is uh, take your Roma tomato, put half of the tomato on one slice and the other half on the other. Just like so. And again, try to get as much of the meat as possible. And then what you want to do is spread the meat on the bread. Try to get it on all the bread. It's going to be a thin layer and that's kind of what you want. There we go. Do the same with the other side, of course. Okay, now that you have the meat on the bread, what you want to do is take your fork, you want to poke some holes on the bread, and when this will allow to happen is allow the olive oil to uh, soak into the bread a little bit. And again, what you want to do is use first cold pressed extra virgin olive oil and try to get um, a Spanish um, variety of olive oil because um, this is a Spanish dish. And again, if you can't find it locally, I do have a link on my website where you can purchase some online and it's really good. So now that you've got the olive oil on, all you want to do is sprinkle a little bit of uh, sea salt on top of your bread and 
just like that. And it's done. Thank you for watching and subscribe to be notified when there's new videos in the future. You can find this recipe and more at thefatveganchef.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Links are all on the website. Enjoy.